I'm Jessie Keith, horticulturist with SunGrow Horticulture, and each year I like to grow string beans, pole beans and bush beans, and they're the, one of the best and easiest crops to grow, and they taste great straight from the garden. So here's some tips to make the most of your bean harvest this season. First, there's choosing the right beans to fit your garden. Some grow as large vines and others as short bushes. Pole beans require stout trellises and can be grown vertically to fit small spaces, while you need more bush beans to cover more ground. I like to grow at least 10 pole beans or 20 bush beans for a good harvest. Some beans are pencil thin, while others are broad, and beans come in lots of different colors. Each has its own traits when it comes to tenderness, stringlessness, color, and flavor. Most yield string beans in 50 to 60 harvest days. Good old-fashioned string beans are green, fleshy, long, and newer varieties are stringless. A classic stringless bush bean is Blue Lake, and Kentucky Wonder is a beefy green heirloom pole bean that's early to produce. Roma beans are broad, long, and surprisingly tender. Most are pole beans that require trellising. Try the exceptional green varieties Super Marconi or Musica or the pale yellow Marvel of Venice. French fillet beans, also called Arico Vert, are very slender, long, delicate, and stringless. Varieties may be bush or pole beans. The vigorous Vortex is a pole type that produces very slender 11-inch long beans. The Golden Soleil Filet produces loads of slender, buttery yellow beans on compact bushes. Annalinos are Italian specialty beans that are small, curved like a half moon, stringless, and very meaty. All grow as pole beans. The green Annalino Verde is a high producer with excellent flavor, and the equally good Annalino di Trento is green with maroon modeling. Asian long beans are botanically different than standard string beans, but they've gained popularity with gardeners for their heat tolerance and productivity. The long, tender beans can reach well over a foot and have great flavor. Chinese green noodle is a really good variety with 20-inch long beans. There are many other appealing, colorful, and tasty beans to try. Colors range from yellow to purple and even red speckled, so be daring when choosing varieties for your garden. You can start seeds indoors or out. Once the threat of frost is passed and the soil is warm, plant your seeds one inch down in a fertile sunny bed and keep them moist. It helps to soak the beans overnight before planting. They should germinate within a week. You can also start seeds indoors in pots alongside a sunny window. Just be sure to plant them quickly after they sprout because they grow fast. Beans need full sun, regular water, and fertile soil with good drainage. Fortifying your garden with black old earthworm castings and garden compost blend will provide a good foundation for your plants. Once summer beans have stopped producing, pull them and replant with fall crops. All beans naturally add nitrogen to the soil to make it more fertile and nutritious for all garden plants. I like to rotate crops in my garden, being sure to plant beans where I planted my tomatoes and other heavy feeders the previous year. It's easiest to snip beans with shears for fast harvest. Be sure to harvest regularly to encourage plants to continue producing. Once these annuals set seed, the plants start to die. Mexican bean beetles are the most common and destructive bean pest. As larvae, they're spiky, yellowish-orange, and voracious bean destructors that chew on beans and skeletonize leaves. The adults look like large brown ladybugs and lay clusters of orange-yellow eggs on leaf undersides. Remove eggs and insects as you see them, or spray larvae with milky spore or neem oil. With good care, you'll have a bountiful bean crop. Happy bean growing!